What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel, John's Daily Hustle. Today we're gonna to talk about is the 48 inch AgriFab pull behind dethatcher worth it on a commercial level and for a regular residential as well. And this is my opinion based after two years of commercial use. So I've gotten quite a lot of use and abuse out of it. So let's go over it. For starters, this is the AgriFab 48 inch pull behind dethatcher, which is very similar to the AgriFab pull behind aerator. First look, you'll notice that it does share a lot of problems and flaws that the pool behind aerator has, which we'll get over that later. But one of them being that it's made very cheaply. As you guys can see, things bend very, very easily. If you guys watched the video, I'll link up there of some of the modifications I did to the AgriFab aerator to make it stronger and sturdier. I highly recommend you do it to the pool behind as well. For the price, I wanna say I paid like $110 for it, between $110 and $120 for it. It's being used commercially, I made that up after just one or two jobs. So sure, I got my return on investment pretty, pretty fast with it, but the problem was I sacrificed a lot of time to make that return. One of the issues that it has is, well, it's obviously being pulled behind the mower. Not only do you have to make two or three passes in your yard just pulling this behind it, but then you have to go back over the whole yard to collect the grass and thatch layer that has been pulled to the top. You guys go watch one of my older videos up there, you'll see that I just you have the accelerator grass catcher. I do also have the cyclone rake that I've used, but it's still a lot of work because you have to go over it several times to suck all the stuff up. So right here, I just wanted to show you guys a clip of how it actually works and in progress. You guys can see this was the first pass in that row that I just made. And now I'm going on the second pass on that row. So you guys can see it really does pull a lot up, but you do have to go over it a couple of times. And one thing else I forgot to mention is you guys can see it does build up a lot of thatch on the tines there. So you have to back it up just like that. And sometimes you can get it to come off, but sometimes you have to get off and pull it off by hand. And of course, remember, you really shouldn't back up with this unit. So backing up, I don't advise as it does bend that hitch. Now, as you guys can see, you're also limited on how much weight you can put on there. I have 80 pounds on that, and that does seem to be enough, but sometimes I wish I had more. And here's the next clip of me showing you guys how I collected it using the accelerator grass catcher, just to show you guys what I mean by when I have to collect it that. And you have to go over it several times, plus it gets heavy, which you guys are getting to see. Right here is me dumping it, and it took four times on this property. I will put a card up if you guys want to see that full job and actually see it in full use, not just for this review, but it is a very tedious job and a lot of work. You could do the method where you take a rake or even just a little leaf blower and blow it all into a pile and pick it up that way, but still a lot of time and a lot of effort. Just being used commercially, I don't really recommend it unless you have a really good setup. To be honest, I really think commercial guys should mainly stick with the front mount dethatchers because you can mount it to the front of your mower and collect the grass all on the same pass. So you go over the yard two or three times and you're getting everything done. You're dethatching it and collecting it all at the same time. However, to a homeowner or somebody just starting out that might have a low budget and you're maybe in a pinch and you just really need a couple of yards to be dethatched, Again, for $110, $120, this is a very, very good investment. We'll have to sacrifice just a little bit of time, but it does dethatch a yard very well. Going back to what I said in the beginning of the video, it is very cheaply made as it's made, you know, residential grade. So it's very thin metal, especially right here. This is one of the weak parts as well as the wheels itself. You know, these wheels will absolutely break on you and I do not recommend backing up with this. As well as the handle here itself, you guys can see gets bent and twisted pretty easily because it's pretty thin. As well as you guys can see here, it's very easy to lose time on this even if you bend these down as much as you possibly can which that was kind of a pain in the butt even if you bend them down as much as you possibly can these tines will come out eventually and you'll lose them also another big flaw this has is the space it takes up you guys see how it's sitting here on my floor right now and that's how much room it takes not really much you can do about storing it you can't really hang it on a wall because well you see that's got this awkward handle on it now sure you guys can just undo a few bolts and then it'll hang on the wall easily. But that means you're undoing bolts and stuff like that constantly over and over again to be able to use it. Which, that could be an option for you, but for me, I guess you could say I'm kind of lazy. I just want to store it somewhere on the ground and call it a day. So if garage space is an issue, keep that in mind that it does take up a good bit of room. So keep those things in mind if you are interested. Now I plan on keeping this. I don't plan on selling it all. I'm going to keep it and only use it on my own personal yard as well as family and friends yard. But I'm not going to offer dethashing as a service this year. That's because I don't quite have the full setup for it as I hate pulling this behind it. And then I still have to go over the whole yard once or twice or three times even afterwards using the accelerator grass catcher to collect the thatch layer. So to me, it's just not worth it. And time is very valuable to me this year. Back my first year I got started, 
I gave up a lot of time and I did pick this up. And like I said, I paid for it first job, second job, you know, charge 120, 140 bucks, whatever it may be. And it paid for itself very, very quickly. However, like I said, it's a lot of time for that yard. You're looking at two, three hours on your regular average yard if you're running a similar setup to me, pulling this behind and then, you know, using an accelerated grass catcher to clean up the layer. Now, I've personally thought about trying to fabricate a way to make this front mount on my zero turn, and then that would be really, really efficient. But for the price of what this was, you can pay, I think it's like $500 and actually buy an actual front mount dethatcher for a zero turn mower. They make like a universal kit. That's what I'm planning on doing next year, not this year. So to sum it up, if you're a residential person or you're doing it for your own personal yard or even just a family or friend's yard, it's a pretty good buy, especially for the price. Or if you're just starting out in lawn care, you already have a couple customers that want their yard dethatched. It's a really good bang for your buck. However, just know that you're probably only going to use it for one, maybe two seasons before you get tired of it. Having the right setup for it will also go a long way when it comes to collecting the dethatch layer that gets brought up. If you have any experience with this, comment it below on your opinion on it and your experience with using these so it may help somebody else out. I'm looking at getting one. And also, if you guys are interested in buying one or checking it out yourself, I did put a link down in the description. You guys can go check that out. Hey, if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please give this video a big thumbs up and thank you guys for watching.